This video today is brought to you by Katie Equipment, Nana, Ohio, and today we're going to take a look at iTech operation on a 4600 command center display. In order to start iTech, the first thing we'll want to do is turn iTech on. We can see down at the bottom of the run screen we have an iTech indicator, and we can simply push that on, and we can see iTech turn on. The next thing we'll have to do is go in and set up our sequences of what we want the tractor to do. To do that, we'll go to the menu, we'll start in tractor settings, and we'll come over to iTech. We'll select iTech, we can see the iTech master is on, and then we will have to come down and we'll go to manage sequences. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start on sequences and then we'll come down and hit program. And then we'll hit add and step. And then we can choose what we want the tractor to do. So if we want to make a headland turn, we may want to change the vehicle speed. And we'll go ahead and enter our speed. So I may want four mile an hour for my turn speed. So I'll go ahead and enter that and hit OK. And then I have to enter a distance. This distance is the distance the tractor has to travel after the iTech button is pressed before the action actually happens. So if I enter 5, the tractor will have to travel 5 feet after I push the button before it changes the speed to 4 mile an hour. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. So we can see our first step, and then we can go ahead and add another. So one thing I may want to do is possibly raise my implement. So we'll say that's on SCV1, and then we have to pick Extend or Retract. So we'll go ahead and pick Retract, and then we again have to enter the distance for this action to start after we push the button. So in this case, we may want this to happen right away. If we want it to happen right away when we push the button, we can program in the zero feet and hit OK. So this may be the only functions I wish to set up on this side of the sequence for raising and making my turn. So I'll click Next. And then we have to assign a name to this sequence. So we'll go ahead and clear a name out here. And in this case, we'll call it up because we're going to be raising the implement up to complete our headland turn. And then we'll hit OK. And then we have to choose an assignment as far as what iTech button we want this to be assigned to. So in this case, we can see our iTech buttons on our command arm. In this case, I'll want to choose iTech button 2. I'll simply click on it and hit OK. And then I'll hit Save. So we I, see I can hear here I have a sequence called up. So now I'll basically have to do the same thing in reverse. So we'll go back to program add step, add vehicle speed, I can put in 5.4 mile an hour, which could be my working speed, we'll hit OK, and we may want the tractor to, to drive a little ways before it actually picks the speed up, so we may want to put the implement down right away, and then give it a little bit of time and distance before we speed up, so we may put in 10 feet there, so the tractor has to travel that before it goes 5.4. We'll also go to add step. We can go back to SCV1 and we can say we'll extend it to put it down and we may want that to happen right away. So we'll put in zero feet, hit OK, click next, and again we'll have to assign a name. Backspace out and we'll call this down. And then we'll hit OK. 
okay and we'll assign that to iTech button number one on the armrest. Hit OK and we'll hit save. So now we have two sequences for down and up. We also can look at our sequence assignments and we can see iTech button one is set for down and iTech number two is set for up. We also can save this set under a name. So this, this whole set, maybe this is for the planner. So we could assign this whole set planner and hit OK to save it. So we can exit out of there, go back to our summary for our iTech and we can see our sets called planner. We've got button one set up for down, button two set for up, and if we click on those, we can see what those are set up for. So now that iTech is completely set up, we can exit out, we can go back to our run page, and we can test it out. So we'll begin moving. increase our speed and then we can press button 2 so we can see sequence 2 has become active we're raising the implement we've slowed down to 4 mile an hour we can make our turn and then once our turn is complete we can simply hit button 1 we can see sequence 1 is active see we've sped back up to 5.4 mile an hour and our SCV-1 is running for the planner now. And that is a quick demonstration of how to set up and use iTech.